We're in the state capital of Iowa. This is Christy. She works with uh, the Iowa Safe at Home program. So Iowa Safe at Home is an address confidentiality program for survivors of domestic violence, sexual assault, stalking, trafficking. And what we do is we provide a fictitious legal address for these survivors. And then they can use them um, anywhere where an address is required in the state. So court records, employment records, their driver's license, anywhere. Um, so if their address were to become public or pop up on whitepages.com or something, their name is associated with that fake address and it looks like they live here in Des Moines. Yeah. And, um, and you said, she said earlier that every, every, for instance, survivor of trafficking that's part of your program has the same address, which is yes. fun. Yep, so everyone has the same address. They're assigned a unique apartment number so that yeah. we can sort the mail that comes to oh, our, cool. our office. Um, but if their abuser, their trafficker, were to yeah. put it in Google's, Google Map or something, it actually takes them to the middle of the Des Moines River. Um, yeah. And so it's awesome. not a real location. <laughs> it doesn't come to our office or anything. Um, so yes, as they use the address, yeah. anything that their name is associated with is fake. Um, yeah. And then all of their mail comes to us. So we're the only place that absolutely has to have their address. Um, besides like utilities and stuff like yeah. that. And we work with them to make sure that they're confidential. And then, so their mail comes to us and we forward it on to them. And then they can register to vote and vote by absentee ballots confidentially. Yeah. So they can participate in elections safe. And that's something that Dave Moore, when we're driving over to Capitol just now was like, he like, that's so cool that we get to meet people like you. That Cause for, for most of us, we never even think Oh yeah, that how are you gonna vote then yeah. if you got if you can't have a, a real address mm -hmm. and you guys figured it out for them? Right, because when you vote and you register to vote, it's a public record, mm -hmm. and that public record includes your name and your physical address. So yes, during the 2020 election, we had lots of participants vote for the first time since the abuse that mm -hmm. they experienced and the trauma, and so they were very grateful. see it all over the state of Iowa. We see it in very tiny towns. We see it in Des Moines. We see it in Iowa City. Yeah. So it's it's incredible how far-reaching it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for doing it. <laughs>